What if I told you that the journey to human flight didn't begin with engines, wings, or even gliders, but with a simple concept, hot air rising into the sky? Today, we're unraveling the story of the world's first flying machine, the hot air balloon, a tale of science daring and a little bit of hot air that changed how humanity viewed the sky. Since ancient times, humans have dreamed of taking flight. From Greek myths of Icarus to early inventors like Leonardo da Vinci, who designed flying machines inspired by birds, humanity's fascination with flight goes back thousands of years. But for all their efforts, the dream of controlled, sustained flight remained out of reach until the 18th century. Joseph Michel and Jacques Etienne, two French papermakers with a passion for invention. But while their family business focused on paper, the brothers were captivated by an entirely different idea. Flight. Joseph, the dreamer of the two, was inspired by the sight of embers rising from a fire and believed that heated air could lift an object. The brothers decided to test this theory, and the results were promising. In 1782, the brothers conducted their first experiment using a small silk bag. They heated the air inside by placing it over a fire. To their amazement, the bag began to rise, as if by magic. They had discovered the basic principle that would revolutionize flight. Hot air is lighter than cold air, and as it rises, it can carry objects with it. Encouraged by their success, the Montgolfiers planned something much larger. On June 4, 1783, in the small town of Annonay, France, the Montgolfier brothers unveiled their invention to the public. Their hot air balloon, made of paper and cloth, stood 33 feet tall. As the brothers lit the fire beneath it, the balloon filled with hot air and slowly began to rise. Onlookers were astonished as the balloon climbed higher and higher, reaching an altitude of about 1,000 meters before descending safely after 10 minutes. This was the birth of human flight. News of the Montgolfier brothers' balloon quickly spread throughout France, reaching the royal court in Paris. The brothers were invited to demonstrate their invention before King Louis XVI and Queen Marie Antoinette. But this time, they had an even bolder plan, to send living creatures into the sky. On September 19, 1783, a balloon was launched at the Royal Palace of Versailles, carrying the world's first airborne passengers, a sheep, a duck, and a rooster. The flight lasted about eight minutes, and the animals landed safely, much to the relief and delight of the crowd. With this success, the stage was set for the next major leap, sending humans into the air. Just two months later, on November 21, 1783, Jean-François Pilate de Rosier, a scientist, and François Laurent d'Arlande, a marquis, made history. They became the first humans to ascend in a hot air balloon, in front of a crowd in Paris, they floated above the city for 25 minutes, traveling five miles and reaching a height of over 3,000 feet. Humanity had finally conquered the sky. So how does a hot air balloon actually work? The concept is surprisingly simple. A burner heats the air inside the balloon's envelope, causing the air to expand and become lighter than the cooler air outside. As the hot air rises, it carries the balloon with it. By controlling the temperature of the air inside, the pilot can ascend, descend, or hover in place. Though the science is simple, the results are spectacular. Today, hot air balloons are used for adventure and leisure, with balloon festivals lighting up the skies across the world. Modern balloons are made of nylon and have more precise controls, but the basic principles remain the same. Every flight is a reminder of that first incredible moment when humans looked up at the sky and imagined themselves floating among the clouds. The invention of the hot air balloon was just the beginning. The success of the Montgolfier brothers' flights opened the door to all future aviation advances. From airplanes to rockets, every achievement in the history of flight owes something to that first balloon flight in 1783. It's a story of curiosity, invention, and the human spirit's desire to rise above. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey through the invention of the hot air balloon. If you enjoyed learning about this piece of history, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, 
and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more amazing stories of invention and discovery. Until next time, keep looking up.